What's good, YouTube family? Don't mind me eating a little broiled egg. So in today's video, we are doing an at-home upper abdominal workout. But there's a message behind this egg. Listen, if you're trying to get visible abs, Neil is eating too. Alright, back to the topic. See, there's a message behind this egg. And that is, if you're trying to get visible abs, you have to focus on your nutrition. Nutrition is the most important thing. If you're trying to get those abs popping, see, mine's are not really quite there just now, but I also haven't been focusing on my abdominals at the moment. However, that's about to change. So really quickly before we get into this workout, for your abdominals to show. And this is also for those who just want like a toned stomach, you have to lose the body fat that is most likely covering your abdominals. And if nobody have told you this before, you cannot out train a bad diet. So you can't just out exercise and make up for you not counting your calories or consuming food that you are supposed to consume if you're trying to get abdominals showing. So make sure to eat clean and count your calories in order for your abdominals to show. And without further ado, let's get into this at home upper abdominals workout. Are you ready? Are you ready? Alright, let's go. What is up everybody and welcome to this video's voiceover. So as I first demonstrated for these heel touches is that you have to make sure to keep your core engaged. Don't just go side to side without actually squeezing your abdominals. And following exercise are these cross body toe touches that I decided to call them. And these are way more difficult than they actually look. So here as well, make sure you keep your core engaged even when you are going all the way wide and open, still squeeze your core or your abdominals and try to really reach for those toes without using too much of the opposite arm, like the non-active arm on the floor and make sure to do eight reps for each side. All right, so following exercise, I'm demonstrating do not over arch your lower back and don't under arch it, but like really squeeze in your pelvis, like really squeeze your glutes in these reach out planks. And this may look easy, but it's really not. And the reason why it's not is because it's your job to try to keep your hips in the same place. Like I'm really trying my hardest not to move my hips. And that's what makes this exercise so difficult because you really have to squeeze your entire core while doing this. All right, so following exercise is toe touches. These are more simple, but will definitely burn your upper abdominals. Even though most of these exercises obviously are for your entire core and not just upper abdominals, most of these are targeting the upper abdominals the most, even though you can't really separate glute exercise. And following exercise is pet your cat, you know, give it a little bit love, you know, you're doing good up there. All right, so here we have Roman twist with a dumbbell. So this is for more thicker abs. And this is also not only an upper abdominal exercise, but this is actually more targeting the obliques, so the side abs. And you're doing 12 reps of total of these. And lastly, these are very difficult. So this is a part of a Turkish getup, but only the beginning stage. And these are very difficult and you really want to focus on slowing down your movement when you're going down. And that's what makes this exercise so efficient and beneficial compared to if you're just dropping down with dead weight, you're really not getting anything out from this exercise. And I think you have to do five reps for each side of this one. And yeah, it's just overall a very difficult exercise. Make sure you're also having your wrist straight as well as having your arm straight in the air and don't try to like bend it in any type of angle. Just try to keep it straight up with your eyes locked on the dumbbell. Alright, that is it for this video. Don't forget that you can 
really just isolate one part of your abdominals. You can do exercises that emphasize more on the upper abdominals, but whenever you work your abdominals, you do technically both work your upper and lower abs. However, I do encourage you all to work your entire core, like do a lot of functional movements, because my opinion is really abdominals, like abs, if they show, it's just a bonus, but what really matters is that you have a really strong core so not only just your abs but your entire core all around because that's what you really need in your everyday life but also when you are lifting it really matters that you have a balanced and strong core and not just abs to show for however if you have a very strong core and if you're working on that and just are trying to get those abdominals to show and they're kind of being a little stubborn these are some really good exercises to do for your upper abdominals to show more and also before you guys leave don't forget to check out my workout programs linked down below if you're lost in the gym don't really know what to do what exercises to do how to do them what nutrition to follow how to even count your calories and figure out what foods to eat i literally explain it all in my workout program so feel free to check them out but yeah i really hope that this video was helpful and before you guys leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i see you guys in my next video bye